Hi, this is Hopper, and this is Randy. We're doing a review on Without You. First, we're going to do a little Tom Petty spiel. Rest in peace, Tom. Everybody's got a little petty in them. Everybody like Tom Petty. Second of all, this is off Dr. Feel Good. Probably one of the greatest Motley Crue albums released in different people's opinions. Not mine, but different people. I don't know what Randy thinks about Dr. Feel Good. I like that one. It's a good album. Yeah. All right, roll with Without You. This song was wrote for Tommy and Heather Locklear at the time. Nicky, probably one of the greatest songwriters ever, I think. So what did you think of this video when you first saw it, Randy? Um, how much it cost? <laughs> this video, you could tell, was not cheap. With the animals that are coming up and plus all this. Uh, but the band was at the height of their career then, so I'm quite sure they could afford it. You know, I loved it. You know, I pretty much loved everything this band's ever done. So I don't know if you no different. I don't know if you knew this, but when they was approached about to do a video for this, the person who did the videos wanted to do motorcycles in the video. Nikki said we done did the motorcycle thing. We're not doing it again. So that's how this come about. But you know, you watch it now, so it's a little generic, but it probably was a big budget video at the time. I'm sure, well, yeah, I mean, that, that this is the technology that they had at the time. You know, I just remember this record, of any record they ever done, they promoted the hell out of this album. I mean, like I said, there was a video every week, you know. Yeah. And why shouldn't they? I mean, they were milking it for what it's worth. They were on top of their game. I would have done the same thing if I was in their position, yes. You know, you know what's coming up, Randy? Vince is getting ready to push the rocks apart, the best part of the whole video. Yes. But it's like, man, they look so young there compared to, you know, well, but some of them have aged well, some of them haven't, but <laughs> it happens. <clears throat> but they had a great career, nothing to be ashamed of. Here it is, the big rock scene. But during this era, this band could do no wrong in my eyes. They could. They were like the greatest ever. I they think. were. They. Uh, I, I remember the first time I ever heard them was the Shout the Devil song. Somebody taped it on the cassette. I was like, who's this Motley Crue? I went out and bought it. Rest of history. Oh yeah, I was blown away. You know, and then everybody was into it. By this time, everybody liked Motley Crue. The kings of the power ballad. They started it. And nobody else could ever take that. And they deserved to be recognized for it. Man, look how different this looks. Wow. <laughs> so different. Oh, if you ever get on the treadmill and visit Jenny Craig, you know he he can pull it off. But I don't know. <clears throat> Nick, as bad shape as he is, man can still nail the solo. And that should be commended for someone who's not in the greatest of health and still playing music. He's not with this band anymore, but he's still out there. And that, that deserves a thumbs up in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Never, ever, no matter how old you get, whatever, give up the passion, give up the thing you love the most. You know, it's like I told somebody the other night, maybe it's time to throw another jersey and play for the team. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it was great. This was probably like he was talking earlier about video premieres. I'm sure this one was. It was on the ball. Probably, yeah, probably a video premiere for like we think they punched it yeah. a little bit. And always had the MTV exclusive in the corner yeah. for a while. And then after they wore it out, they would take the MTV exclusive and get rid of it. Dude, you could watch this stuff 24 hours a day on MTV. 24 hours? Now you can't even get 20 minutes no. a day. The one thing that, that got them over, they had the ball, which was up and running and strong, but they had airplay during the day. That's commended. I'd say it's a pretty decent video all it. in all. A little generic, but yeah. you know, what do you expect? It was 28 years ago. Yeah. So I'd say it was all right. 
Very good.